determine the maximum power delivered to the variable register R shown in the circuit of figure. Solution We have to find P max. P max is equal to VTH square divided by 4 RTH. So we have to find VTH and RTH. First we will find VTH. To find VTH, we will redraw the circuit. Now here this will be VTH. Positive, negative, VTH. Now here we can see this is open circuited. So this Vx is equal to 0. Now since this Vx is equal to 0, this dependence current source will be 0 because it is 3 Vx. 3 into 0 is 0. So this will be open circuited. So this will be our Vth. Voltage across this 15 ohm is the value of Vth. So we can apply voltage division rule to find the voltage across this 15 ohm resistor. So V 15 ohm is equal to Vth is equal to this voltage 4 into this resistance which is 15 divided by 15 plus this value 5 ohm. So this will be 4 into 4 into 15 by 15 plus 5. So it is 3 volt. Therefore this is the value of VTH. VTH is equal to 3 volt. Next we have to find RTH. To find RTH Here we can see that this is a dependent source. So to find RTH here we will consider a 1 ampere current source. One ampere current source. Now let's say this is node V1 and this is node V2. So RTH will be equal to RTH is equal to V2 divided by 1. This 1 ampere, 1 ampere into RTH is equal to V2. So therefore RTH is equal to V2 by 1. Now to find RTH we have to find the value of V2. So let's assume this is current I1, this is current I2 and this is a reference node. This is current I3. Now we will apply KCL at node V1. Apply KCL at node V1. So this will be I1. I1 is equal to I2 plus I3 plus 3 Vx. I2 plus I3 plus 3 Vx. Now I1 is equal to 4 minus V1 by 5. 4 minus V1 by 5 is equal to I2. I2 is V1 minus 0 by 15. V1 minus 0 by 15 plus I3. I3 is V1 minus V2 by 5. V1 minus V2 by 5 plus 3 Vx. Now this Vx is Vx is equal to 6 into this current. So 6 into 1 is directly Vx is equal to 6 volt. Now 
now this will be 4 by 5u minus v1 by 5u minus v1 by 15 minus v1 by 5u plus v2 by 5u then this will be minus 18 when this 3 into 6 goes on left side so this will be minus is equal to 0 now this will be minus 1 by 5u minus 1 by 5u then minus 1 by 15 minus 1 by 15 minus 1 by 5u minus 1 by 5u so this is minus 7 by 15 minus 7 by 15 v1 this will be plus v2 by 5u now this will be 4 by 5u minus 18 4 by 5u minus 18 so it is minus 17.2 so it will be is equal to 17.2 let's say this is equation number 1 now we will apply KCL at node V2. Apply KCL at node V2. So this will be 3VX plus I3 plus 1. 3VX plus I3 plus 1 is equal to 0. All the currents are entering. There is no leaving current from this node. Now this 3 Vx. So this will be 3 into Vx. Now Vx is equal to again. Vx is equal to 6 into 1. So it is 6 volt. Plus I3. I3 is V1 minus V2 by 5. V1 minus V2 by 5 plus 1 is equal to 0 so this will be 18 plus v1 by 5 minus v2 by 5 plus 1 is equal to 0 so this will be v1 by 5 minus v2 by 5 and this will be 19 so is equal to minus 19 this is equation number 2 now solving equation 1 and 2 solving equation 1 and 2 we get mode 5 1 minus 7 by 15 1 by 5 and this will be 17.2 17.2 now from equation 2 this will be 1 by 5 1 by 5 minus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 5 is equal to minus 19 so minus 19 this will be v1 is equal to 6.75 v1 is equal to 6.75 volt and v2 is equal to 101.75 101.75 volt we have to find the value of v2 so v2 is equal to 101.75 rth is equal to v2 by 1 rth is equal to v2 divided by 1 so therefore rth is equal to 101.75 ohm rth is equal to 101 0.75 ohm now we have the value of rth and vth so we can find the value of p max p max is equal to p max is equal to vth square divided by 4 rth so vth square is 3 square 3 square divided by 
फोर इंटू आर टी एच आर टी एच इज अगेन वन जीरो वन पॉइंट वन जीरो वन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव सो दिस विल बी थ्री स्क्वेर डिवाइडेड बाय फोर इंटू वन जीरो वन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव सो इट इज ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट वन वन ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट वन वन मिली वैट ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट वन वन मिली वैट दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ पी मैक्स पी मैक्स इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट वन वन मिली वैट